In this video, I want to share with you how you can create video mockups for Etsy that you can use for print-on-demand products or even digital downloads as well. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on Merch on Demand and Etsy. If like this kind of content, you get any value out of this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. Now before I share with you how you can make those really cool uh, mock-up videos for Etsy, just want to do a quick sales update for Merch on Demand and Etsy. So today is Wednesday, December 24th, uh, 6.13 a.m. in the morning. And you know we're towards the end of um, Q4 here, so things are starting to wind down. You can see how my sales are just slowly trickling down. Uh, yesterday, only did 17 sales and $24 in royalties, but hey, I will still take it, still 24 bucks. Uh, but that's going to put me at 919 sales and $1,833 in royalties for the month of December. Um, and if we go ahead and take a look at my stats for Etsy, you know, Etsy continues to do pretty well. Um, it is also kind of winding down. Yesterday I ended up doing $86 in revenue and for sales ended up doing 10 orders. Now a lot of these, I think like half were actually digital downloads. So that was cool to see because I don't have to spend anything. I don't have to deal with any shipping or too much customer service. But you can see for the month of December, I'm at $5,637 in revenue. I make about 50%. And if we just compare my stats to last year, we're going to see that you know, orders increased 24%, but it says I'm down 4%, but that's because adding in uh, the 24th, you know, I actually ended up doing $91 last year on Christmas Eve. So we'll see how things play out. So those are my stats. And if you want to follow me on, on Instagram, where I post my daily sales for both Merch on Demand and Etsy, link is in the, in the description. I'm also documenting my journey on making or trying to make 10K a month with Print on Demand by the end of 2026. I basically post these reels, uh, sharing with you tips and tricks. So if you want to um, follow me, the link is in the description. But now let's go ahead and get into the content of the video. All right, so the first thing that I want to talk to you about when it comes to open art AI and making these video mockups is the actual pricing because I'm not going to lie, it's not the cheapest, but here are the prices. So this is the plan that I picked right here, and this is for the annual, so you have to pay the whole year, so it's kind of a big chunk of money. I don't really like that. I'd rather just go monthly because I don't know how long I'm going to do this for. Just wanted to like basically just test it out because I thought it was pretty fun and cool to do. So basically, I jumped on these monthly plans right here, and I got this one right here for 14 bucks but uh, you can get these other ones. $14 gets you 4,000 credits. And when we go back to my actual dashboard right here, oh, oops, wrong one, uh, this one. Right here, we're going to see if I get my face out the way. So that $14 gave me 4,000 credits, and basically it's 200 credits of video. So I made one, two, three, six videos right here, so I'm already down to 2,800 credits. A lot of these AI you know, websites, you know, credits are kind of expensive. But basically, when I did the math, it came out to a dollar, uh, one dollar and forty cents per per video, which I think for me is kind of expensive. So I don't know, we'll see how long I do this for, but I still thought it was fun. I wanted to share it with you. So that is the pricing. Now let me go ahead and just kind of show you like my process. All right. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get a design. So I'm going to jump on over to my school community, and I think this one is going to work well because we got the goose here. Um, it says honk if it's an emergency. Pretty funny nurse design cross niche with goose. Um, so let's go ahead and download that. And then once it's downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and jump on over to Photoshop because I want to get rid of the background. So this is just the way I do it. Everyone kind of has their own kind of workflow. But I'm just going to go ahead and find that design. So there it is right there. And let's go ahead and pop it into Photoshop. And this is the way I like to get rid of the background. Um, everybody, like I said, kind of has their own way. But I just go right click, blending options. And then I will go ahead and just where it says current layer, I'll just move that over like this. Let me move so we can actually see. Okay, so there we go. Looks like you got rid of it. Um, now, you know, this isn't the design that we're selling, so I'm not going to like upscale it. I'm not going to um, make sure everything is perfect. I just want to get a nice design so that I actually put it on a flat lay mockup. So there we go like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and save it. So quick save right there. Don't really care what I name it. I'll just go with that right there. <clears throat> and then once I have it saved, I want to basically put it on a flat lay mockup. So I have this flat lay mockup that I've been using for years on Etsy. And so this is what I like to use for the mockup, not the video mockup, just the mockup. I made a video about mockups the other day. So if you want, you can check that out on my YouTube channel. These are the type of mockups that I recommend for Etsy doing something like this. So now I'm just going to go ahead and find that design without the background. I'm going to put it on the mockup and do something like this. 
and let's just make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so I think that is good. Maybe tilt it a little bit to the side. And then we're just gonna go ahead and save that. And this is the file that we're actually going to upload into OpenArt AI. So there we go. Now let's go back to OpenArt AI. And what you want to do here, once you've signed up, you want to click on image to video. Now I made a few already. Let's actually, let's just watch one. So here's one that I made the other day. Uh, this actually made me laugh. That's a funny one with the t-shirt. Um, I also made one for a PNG file. So this one right here. But you can also do this for PNG files. Um, I think it'll probably work better like on the actual product so people can understand kind of better. Um, now, the way I made these was image to video. So you just basically upload an image and, and then you put in a prompt telling you what you want to do. I also tested text to video where you just basically upload a prompt. So if you guys remember the video that I made the other day about Adobe stock, how to make money uh, with Adobe stock, um, I made images like this. And what I did is actually, I just took that prompt from Videogram and I just popped it in. And this is a video that it gave me. I was thinking about maybe making, uh, uploading videos onto Adobe stock. Um, I think this is okay. You know, this is pretty good. The lights are flashy. It's not the best. I mean, it's zooming in and out, but I think this is decent. Um, but then I made one for graduation 2026 and it didn't do a good job. I mean, it messed up the letter. So it's, it's the wrong year. Let me see here. We can see the prompt. So here's the prompt right here. You can see I got the, the year right there, but it didn't make it. So I don't know how good the actual text to video is, but the image to video I thought was really good. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and move my uh, face out the way here. So image to video, you just want to uh, click on this button right here and click on upload. And then you just want to find that design. So make sure it's the right one. There we go. And then once it's loading, you just want to type in what you want the design to do. So I'm going to say, let me make this bigger so you can see here. Um, make the goose uh, dance. And maybe should we do something else? Make the goose dance. I think dancing might, might be good enough. Maybe flap its wings. Make the goose dance and flap its wings. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And then after that, you just want to click on create. And let's see what it comes up with. All right, so the video is done now and it only took a couple minutes, which I was actually pretty happy with because my internet can sometimes be a little slower. So that was cool to see. And so here is what the video came out. Get rid of the music. So right here you can see you got the goose jumping around, flapping its arms or wings, and it says honk if it's an emergency. So I don't know, I think that's really cool right there. I think that's gonna get more clicks. And then once you have that, you just want to basically download. So you click download right here, go to your Etsy listing. And on the second image right here, that's where you upload the video. And then that's actually what it looks like. So this one right here is actually my design. You can see I got the nice thumbnail. And then when you hover over, it starts flapping like that. So I don't know, you got to admit, that's pretty cool. Like when you compare it to this one right here, I mean, yeah, pretty good, you know, but kind of boring. This one's like, what the heck is this? You know, just kind of like intriguing. It like uh, generates or creates curiosity you know, makes people probably going to want to click on it. So I think that's really cool. And I figured, hey, we might as well just do one more because this is kind of fun. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So let's go back here and we're going to delete this image. And let's try another one because I also came up with a chicken one. Let's see if I can find it here. So let's see, is it this one? Yeah, so this one. So this hen pause when a woman gets to a certain age and starts collecting chickens. That's pretty funny. Let's go ahead and drop that in. And let's see what kind of uh, prompt can we give it did it not work let's try that again maybe okay so let me see what's going on here all right so i got it to work just had to refresh the page so i uploaded the image and i said make all the chickens dancing and it came up with this funny one right here handle pause look at that that's freaking hilarious <laughs> this one they didn't put music on but no big deal but i still think that it's going to get a good laugh out of people and get them to click. So let me know what do you think about this style? Um, I think this is really cool. Only kind of bad part is kind of expensive, but I definitely think this can get more clicks and this could be the future maybe for uh, video mockups on for Etsy. Cause I just think that this is maybe a little more, you know, um, you know, entertaining or creates curiosity than those basic, you know, uh, like slideshows that everybody's doing on Canva.
So comment below, let me know your thoughts and what you think. And then if you're looking for a niche, like a niche service where you get niches and prompts every day for both Merch on Demand and for Etsy, consider joining my school community. You also join a community of very supportive uh, Merch on Demand uh, Etsy sellers so you don't feel like you're on this journey alone. If you're interested, just click on the link in the description and we'll take you to this video and it will talk about everything that you get whole bunch of uh, sign up bonuses and things like that. So if you're interested, check it out. Um, if not, it's all good. I will continue making free YouTube content here on YouTube. So make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Hope you guys are having a great Christmas and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.